Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's B. Avery here, and I want to thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Just My Opinion. Talking spoilers for Dark Phoenix, you have been warned. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way. There is no mid credit scene. There is no post credit scene, or at least there wasn't at the screening that I attended. But let's talk about the ending. So before this film was released, there was a ton of speculation online that Miss Jessica Chastain would be fulfilling the role of Lalandra. She is a popular comic book character that has a ton to do with the Phoenix storyline on the Dark Phoenix storyline. She's not playing that character. She is playing a made up character by the name of Vux who is part of some sort of old civilization out in the galaxy to where their race was destroyed, their world was destroyed by the Phoenix Force itself. Now, in this film, the force of energy, the force of power is not necessarily explained as the Phoenix Force. And that is something that really disappointed me. However, what they had to do physically in the role within this film, I quite liked it. Jessica Chain's uh, character, as well as all of her counterparts, her minions, they really did deliver a nice bit of cannon fodder uh what that is is just you know faceless enemies to where the x-men can beat up on they did a great job there but in the film you know they wanted to control the power of the dark phoenix so they can take over the earth you know and or bring back their people bring back their race now towards the end of this film is the ultimate showdown in the train sequence if you saw my review for the film you know that that was my absolute favorite part of the whole entire movie i thought it was fantastic when uh, Magneto used his powers, his magnetic powers to bring up all the guns and fire upon um, Miss Jessica Chastain Vux simultaneously, that was just that was dope as hell. But, you know, we see her finally at the end with Dark Phoenix or Sophie Turner's character, Jean Grey, facing off against Vux and they're transferring, transferring the power back and forth. I loved all that visually. The visual effects was great. And I thought that we were going to get some great standoff between them of like Phoenix power versus Phoenix power or force power versus you know like force power because it really wasn't described as the Phoenix power. But we we didn't get that. You know, the train sequence is great. And then we got uh, Jean Grey, Phoenix, Dark Phoenix, you know, doing some type of move to where she's disintegrating everybody, kind of like they did in X-Men Last Stand. Uh, I will say that I like the ending of this film and the Phoenix power a little bit more than I did in that film. I don't know why, but, you know, I don't know. It, this one just kind of spoke to me um, a bit more. But we all think that Jean is going to die, but she takes... Uh, bucks up into the sky powers are up and explodes and we think both of them die and towards the end of the film you know we see that you know they have a, a funeral for the character and it is assumed that miss jean gray is dead when i was watching this part right here i didn't think jean gray was dead i'm like she's probably going to be floating around somewhere you know if they do try to trick us and come out with another film dream jean gray is going to be back but she's still alive towards the very end of the film you know we see her we hear her monologuing um, um, just saying, you know, hey, us mutants or who we are, is it are, are we going to be what we're supposed to be or or what we're expected to be? Or are we going to, you know, evolve beyond that? You know, we only hear her voice and we think that she's dead. But then we see Charles and Magneto coming together and they play a game of chess. I, I like that, you know, they're still friends. You know what I'm saying? They have their disagreements. Like I said in my spoiler review, the X-Men, you can ask Stanley himself, look up his interviews. Rest in peace, my brother. But, you know, X-Men is based off of black Americans in this United States, you know, with um, black people being the mutants. Professor X is Martin Luther King and Malcolm X is Magneto. In real life, there was friends or in, and they did not see eye to eye on everything. But at the same time, at the end of the day, they still came you know, down together to do what they needed to do for the good of their people. And I like how they illustrate in this film between Magneto and Professor X when they're playing their chess with Magneto holding his fist up, you know, pick a hand. And that's what color that, you know, you want to play. You know, I, I, I love all of that. And then we get to see, you know, Phoenix uh, flying in the air. Like I said, there was also speculation that they had to change the end because it copied too much on Captain Marvel. I'm going to think that those characters were probably supposed to be the scrolls or they was going to have that. But they, you know, they had to change that, you know, with Captain Marvel. But, you know, I'm not sure. It could be another element as well. But I enjoyed the film and I want to know everybody's opinion as well below. So uh, let me know. Spoil below because this is a spoiler field review or spoiler field episode. So, you know, you don't have to hold 
back there. Now, can we see these X-Men characters ever again? I believe that sometime down the line in the MCU, that the uh, Marvel Studios, they're going to do some type of multiverse crossover. And I think that you can bring all of these X-Men characters over into that franchise. I would love to see that. I would love to see the animated Spider-Verse films. I would love to see Venom brought in to the MCU. I would love to see uh, Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield as well come into the MCU as well. Only in an MCU type multiverse theory. And so... Uh, even after seeing this Dark Phoenix film, I think that we can get something like that and it does get me excited. Also, guys, please subscribe because I'm going to rate all the X-Men films, Wolverine, Deadpool films. I got them right here. I am going to rate them from worst to first, but you have to subscribe to check it out. But guys, that is just my opinion. What did you think about the film? What did you think about my ending explain video? Please let me know down in the comment section below. Give me that thumbs up, like I said, if you like the video. And also, please consider subscribing and help me reach 10,000 subscribers. You can also look me up on social media. I would really appreciate it if you also shared the video. But guys, I want to thank you again for tuning in to my ending explained for Dark Phoenix. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.